Well, that was. What is going on, guys? Duck Hunter Forty Four here today, back with another video. Now, guys, as you can tell by the thumbnail, the title, you you already know what this is, okay? And of course, Nintendo drops a new 2DS XL. Well, actually, they've already, you know, released this one in Japan, you know, because, you know, they don't like us and they don't like giving us stuff that Japan gets, and Japan gets everything early, so it's like, come on, Nintendo, you know, you know, we buy your stuff. But the Pikachu 2DS XL has come out, and, I, and you know, I pulled up YouTube and I was like, all right, everyone already has an unboxing on this, so, so I'm late to this, but hopefully you guys still enjoy the video. I don't know, uh, but we're going to be comparing it to all of the other 2DS XLs that have been released in North America. Now these, the, there's four now. Uh, we got the, the white and the orange, the black and the blue, and the Pokeball one, which was my favorite, but I have to see this Pikachu one now to see which one is better. So let's, let's go ahead and switch over to the unboxing table. Yeah, let's just go now. Okay guys, here we are at the unboxing table with the new Pikachu 2DS XL. Just just take a look at the box. Okay, let me let me show you something really quick. This box looks just so much better than this one. Like this one, you know, it, it's cool, but you know, they show the, the 2DS. They shouldn't have showed the 2DS. They should have just put a big old Pokeball on this one. Like this one just looks so cool. I really, really like that. And on the top, you got, of course, the picture of it. And on the back here, you get to see the inside a little bit. And on the sides, you get 2DS XL, new 2DS, yep, blah, blah, new 2DS XL, and then on the bottom, all your boring stuff. Okay, let's pop this open here. Okay, I knew that I knew that they were going to have something. There's a little Pikachu on the, on the flap there. So, of course, in this one, you know, Nintendo's nice enough to bring back the charger. You know, I don't know why they ever took that out, but they did. But, yeah, you get a charger, and... That's really it. And of course the AR cards and stuff. You know, all that good, your manual AR cards, all that good stuff. And then here is the console. Okay. So this, okay, this looks really good. Like in person, this looks really good. The, the yellow and the brown, really, I like that a lot. So on, on the front here, his cheeks are, you know, raised up a little and his nose is raised up, I don't know. You guys can definitely see that. Now on the back here, it's just all yellow and the bumpers are brown. Oh, that looks good. Now on the inside here, okay. Really, this just looks like an iPhone, you know, built into a 2DS. It really does, like that looks like an iPhone in the bottom. But the buttons do look good. I do like the brown buttons with the yellow. That looks, that looks really good. Good looking console, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and compare them. Okay, can we see all those? Okay, first up we got the, we'll compare the Pokeball one. So this one, the button you can actually press. So these are both raised in 3D and they're both a matte finish, which is nice. And on the inside of them, pretty much the same. They're, they're all gonna be the same on the inside, just with different colors. But th those look really good side by side. Like really good. Okay, and then the differences between these and these is this has like a, you can probably hear that, like a little rugged finish to it. And the inside, of course, matches the color. On all of them, I think. Yeah, look at that. And they all they all do the same thing, as you guys know. That one doesn't, actually, they all look like an iPhone's on top of the screen. They really all do like there's an iPhone on top of the screen. I just noticed that. So those are the differences between these consoles here. There's really not much of a difference between them all. Personally, I still think I like the Pokeball one the best. I do really like this Pikachu one though. It's a really cute design. Let me, let me get, grab a 3DS really quick so that we can do a quick comparison between a 3DS and the new 2DS here. We'll grab the Pikachu one. So a lot of, a lot of differences here. Okay, so this one has a matte finish. This one has a gloss finish. And on the inside here, the buttons are colored. These buttons are colored, you know, the color of the console on the outside. The yellows are very different. Like this is more of like a really light, kind of limeish yellow. But they, they both look really good. So guys, that was the Nintendo 2DS XL Limited Edition Pikachu Edition. Now you can probably get these still at the store because, you know, there was plenty at the Best Buy that I went to. I don't think they're selling that fast because of the Nintendo Switch. But if you are looking for a console for your collection or just another console to have or if you've never bought a 2DS, this would definitely be a one to get for sure.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of the Pikachu 2DS XL unboxing. Now, I, you know, I know a, a lot of you say that the 2DS and the 3DS really isn't relevant anymore because of the Nintendo Switch, but but I'm still a fan, you know, I, I still like playing those games. They're still coming out with games. I mean, the Kirby one just came out, and who knows what we're going to be getting for, you know, that console. Uh, they're going to be coming out with more stuff, I, I can promise you that. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. Like I said, I know, you know, you've probably already seen 10 unboxings of this, but, but, you know, I had to do it. You know I always do these. So, guys, like and comment down below. Let me know what your favorite one is down below in the comments. Smack that subscribe button if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Woo!